So just now in the previous lecture, I mentioned the normalization condition. So now I will explain you the normalization condition. So what we have seen that this integral over this volume V, psi star psi dV, this gives a probability of finding the particle within a specified volume V. Now if we want to find out the total probability of finding the particle in the entire space, then how do we do it? So we can divide that entire space into small volumes, say V1, V2, V3 and we can add the probabilities of finding the particle inside the volume V1 plus the probability of finding the particle in volume V2, V3 and so on. So the total probability we know should be then equal to 1. So instead of writing it all the terms separately, I write that integration over all space, psi star, rt psi rt dv is equal to 1. So this is the normalization condition when a particle is moving in a three dimensional space. So this is called the normalization condition. Now if we think of the one dimension space. So in one dimension already we have discussed suppose you have a particle moving along an x-axis. If you want to find out the probability of the particle moving between x equal to a to x equal to b then you write integral then you write integral x equal to a to x equal to b psi star x comma t psi x t dx right this is the probability of finding the particle uh, between this x equal to a and x equal to b. Now, if I want to find out the particle over the entire x-axis, so that means the stretch of the x-axis is from minus infinity to plus infinity. So, the total probability of finding the particle uh, through this infinite uh, x-axis that will be written as minus infinity to plus infinity and definitely we know that this total probability will be equal to 1. So this is the normalization condition for a particle moving in one dimension motion. So this is the normalization condition for a particle moving in three dimension motion. This is the normalization condition for a particle moving in one dimension motion. Now we will uh, do two problems based on whatever we have discussed till now regarding the probability of finding a particle within a certain region and the application of this normalization condition. So I shall discuss the first problem. So the first problem is, you please do it along with me. So the first problem is, what is the probability? So if we have a function psi equal to ax, a here is a constant. And uh, we say that the particle uh, is moving between x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. Then we want to find out what is the probability that the particle lies between x equal to 0.35 to x equal to 0.45. So of course these limits are within this, uh, these two points are within this limit x equal to 0 and 1. So we want to find out what is the probability that the particle lies between x equal to 0.35 to x equal to 0.45. And the wave function of the particle is given to us. Psi as a function of x here is given to us. And then how we will find out? So from the definition of this uh, probability, of course we know the probability will be x1 to x2 mod psi square dx. So here the limits are 0.35, x1 is 0.35 and x2 is 0.45. And mod psi square will be giving you a square x square dx. So the value of a is not given to us. So of course the answer will be in terms of this a square. So it's a very simple integration. So if you keep a square is a constant outside the integration. And if you integrate it is x cubed by 3. And you have to put the limits 0.35 to 0.45. So this you can just work out. And the answer will come to be 0.01. 6, 1, a square. So this is the probability that the particle lies between these two points. If the value of a is given to you, then you can find, the, find out the value of this probability. Suppose if a is 1, then the probability comes out to be 0 
zero one six one. And the percentage of probability, of course, you have to multiply with hundred. So the percentage of probability will be one point six one percent. So this signifies that one point six one percent is the probability that the particle lies between these two points, and the rest. 100 minus this the rest percentage is the probability that the particle lies outside this point uh, so about within x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 so this is one such application so next i will give you another problem that is on how to normalize a wave function so next problem you take down so the next problem you take down that a wave function is given to you psi is equal to a sin pi x by a so here this small a is again a constant capital a is also a constant so you have to normalize this function so the, the normalization condition you have to write so psi is a function of x so the motion is one dimension so mod psi square dx is equal to 1 right so now you just put the condition here a square integral sin square pi x by a dx minus uh, okay so here the uh, limit is given that the particle here lies between x equal to 0 and x equal to a okay so x here that means the limit of the particle is such that the particle exists for x less than 0 and for x uh, greater than a so the particle does not exist uh, between these limits but it exists between x equal to 0 and x equal to a it does not lie x less than 0 and it does not lie greater than a so that means here when i put the condition i will be putting here x equal to 0 and x equal to a and that will be equal to 1 because the particle cannot lie beyond this this is the region in which the particle can lie so if i have to calculate the total probability so the probability between this x equal to 0 to a has to be equal to 1 here so now you just have to do this integration and find the value of a so which you already know so you will be doing the integration you will be dividing it by 2 and multiplying it by 2 and the limits are from 0 to a and you are putting it equal to 1 and if you do this integration it comes a square by 2 into small a and that is equal to 1 so this integration so uh, how will you integrate you will just write this as 1 minus cos 2 pi x by a and then do the integration it will be x and the another sign term will come so from the sign term when you put the limits of 0 and a that will be 0 so if you integrate dx it is simply x and you put in the limits you get here small a so the value of a comes out to be root over of 2 by a and therefore the wave function psi is root over of 2 by a sin pi x by a so this is the normalized wave function so this is how we apply the normalization condition and here we have taken the uh, positive value of this constant you can take the negative value also but then that that that, that will give us a phase shift of this function so actually no new result you get so we have just taken the positive value and the wave function comes out to be this so this is how we apply the normalization condition now you will be giving your uh, online test in imcrp so where i will be having some some of the um problems there so you just solve it thank you